And here's the flight recorder video. Notice the weak signal just before impact. Okay, I finally found the drone. The battery crapped out so I couldn't use the find my drone. I had to use the video. And it just kept identifying these Joshua trees until I found it. And here it is. Hopefully it's okay. One arm appears to have folded backward. But uh, check it out and see. I'll go ahead and pick it up right now. The power's off. Yeah, not sure what uh, happened there. Seems to be okay. Okay, so this is where I was two days ago when I was flying the Mavic Mini, and after two and a half minutes, I lost the drone right over there at the base of that mountain, and I attempted to use the uh, DJI Fly app, the Find My Drone function. Got me pretty close, and then the power went out on the uh, drone, and I didn't think it was working properly, so I backtracked, and I used sort of dead reckoning by comparing the uh, video that I had of it on the iPhone to what I was actually seeing out here, these various uh, yucca and joshua trees and uh, creosote bushes, and I was able to find it that way. But I'm back up here now, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, record the uh, fly app, and uh, I place the drone back up there where I lost it, and we're going to see if we can find it the proper way this time. These joshua trees can all look alike, but this one here has this arm sticking out on the left, so they're really all unique, and uh, you have to look for features like that when you're trying to backtrack something. And just uh, look at the landmarks, it can get kind of confusing. It took me about an hour to actually find the drone. Here's another landmark. I remember this one well because I actually marked it with uh, some trash that was laying around here in case I had to backtrack. And of course I used the uh, horizon up there to uh, determine the travel of the drone and uh, as far as being able to backtrack it. These were some more landmarks I used to actually find the drone, these uh, Joshua trees, some of the yuccas, and it was right over in that area there. Okay, we go ahead and bring up the DJI Fly app, and we go to Profile, and over on the right, third one down is Find My Drone. Okay, it shows it right there. Let's expand that out a little bit. I'm going to tap the satellite image over here. Okay, so I'm back to the fly app here and what I'm seeing is actually showing the drone is right here with me when in fact it's 1587 feet out there. Shut the power off on the drone so it'd be like it was the other day. I assumed it would work because it does in the city. Even though the drone's off it'll just keep coming back to the last point where it was found. It's not working and I can only assume it's because I have almost no cell phone coverage out here at all. Uh, it is showing me where I'm at as far as the uh, map goes. I'm going to go out there and see if I can get closer. Maybe it'll start working. Okay, so I notice it's tracking again now. I'm uh, maybe two or three hundred feet away. And let's try again here. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on the satellite view again. And the blue circle, that's me. And the triangle, that's the drone. So I'm going to hit north over here so it'll guide me toward it. And now as I walk, it should bring me right back to where the drone actually is. Why it wasn't working back there, I'm not really sure. But it's good to know that if you don't have good cell phone coverage and the power's off on your drone, you may or may not find it. And you may have to rely on the video or some other means. Now it does show the GPS coordinates down there in the lower left. And a person could uh, put those into a GPS tracking device and track it that way. If you don't have one on you, I guess you're going to have to go back and come and try and find it later. So getting closer now, and uh, I'll just keep following this and we'll narrow the gap and see what we got here. I do notice it's not real steady. It looks like the location for me is kind of wandering a bit around a little bit, a little bit more than I'm actually wandering around. Oh, 
about 100 feet away now. And that's it. Droner's right here. Okay, I'm running 80 to 100 feet away from the drone right now, and I'm going to demonstrate the flashing and beeping uh, feature of the Find My Drone. Now I'm going to go do the start flashing and beeping. All right, I'm about 60 feet away, and I can barely hear it right now. 20 feet away, I can hear it okay now. It's not real piercing. 